Hi, I'm Megan Hudson, and I'm a homeworks consultant representing BJU Press Homeschool. Today, I'm going to show you inside of the parent-led textbook kit for the fifth edition of Math 2. This is a full year course with 180 days worth of lessons. So let's jump in and check out these books. These are the materials that would come with your Math 2 fifth edition textbook kit. You would receive your teacher edition books, your student work text, your student reviews book, the student manipulative packet, your Math 2 assessments, and your Math 2 assessments answer key. Each of these different parts play a role in teaching this course. So now let's jump in and see how these parts work together. This is the Math 2 teacher edition book. There are two parts to this teacher edition. This is part one. Math 2 is split into 20 chapters. In part one of the TE, you'll have chapters on addition facts, place value with two digit numbers, subtraction facts, time and calendar, two digit numbers for your adding, customary measurement, two digit numbers with subtracting, three digit numbers with place value, money, and three digit numbers with addition. Part two, which is grayed out in this book, We'll have chapters on the introduction to multiplication, subtraction with three digit numbers, multiplication facts, fractions, geometry, metric measurement, exploring four digit numbers, an introduction to division, division facts, and coding. The next few pages will be full of information for you to read ahead of beginning this course with your child. On these technology solution pages, you'll see information for three different websites. BJU Press Trove is where classroom teachers will go to get their course resources to be able to teach their daily lessons. Homeschool Hub is where homeschool parents will go to find their course resources. They'll also have access to a scheduler and a grade book. The After School Help website is a website for students to go to to find extra practice or tutorials. There is nothing directly there for Math 2 on that website, but there is a spot there to be able to practice your math facts. Here's some more information for how to teach using this teacher edition book. We'll go through a lot of this information in a few moments when we look at an actual lesson. These pages are great ways for us to see what is in this teacher edition book. If you can't find something when you're teaching, these are great pages to refer back to to look to see where you'll find something. We see this lesson plan overview, but we're actually going to jump ahead to chapter number four, and we're gonna look at this chapter together. Chapter four is called Time and Calendar, and on this lesson plan overview, I can get a quick at a glance for planning purposes for my next set of lessons. So quickly I can see which pages I'm going to be using on the teacher edition and the student work text. I've got all my objectives for each day. I even have any of my instructional aids, I see this IA right here that's abbreviated. That is an instructional aid. I also see this VIS, which stands for visuals. I can see that I have some review pages as well for my students to be able to do. So this quick at a glance is what I would be using to plan for my upcoming week. And you'll find these pages at the beginning of every chapter. And then we see this beautiful page with a picture on it. We have Matt and we have Patty. They will be joining us throughout the entire book and we'll be following them on some adventures. Often a lesson or a chapter would start with a story about Matt and Patty as they introduce the next topic we're gonna to be studying about. So in this chapter, we're gonna be starting our topic with calendars. The first thing I noticed in this page is the lesson overview on that corner. I quickly can see my work text pages and my review book pages. I see the day's objectives. 
I also see this note about biblical worldview shaping. Anytime you see this BWS symbol on the page, that's going to stand for biblical worldview shaping. I also see my printed resources, which are usually the instructional aids or visuals. And then if I have any digital resources, these would be on the hub for me to find. And then I see on this one that I need a material and our material today is going to be a display calendar with the current month. And then I see some practice and review suggestions. So this is going to review topics we've already covered and we're just going to do a quick review. And then I see my engaged story that I'm going to read aloud to introduce this new concept. And then I'm going to begin this instruct section. Anytime I see something in the instruct section that is in bold words, that's something I'm going to want to say out loud. Anything in red is the response I'm hoping for when I ask those questions. And I'm going to just work through the instructions to teach the lesson for the day. And I'm going to continue until I get to the section that says apply. Today's apply is work text pages 61 to 62. And today it says I need to do this as independent practice and provide help as needed. So these were the two work text pages. I would be letting my child work independently unless they needed my help. Now what are these two pages right here? Great question. In the assess section, I actually see review pages 57 to 58. So there's a separate book called the review book and those pages are from the review book. When we are using the review book, Typically, the first side of the page is going to review information from that day's lesson. The back side of the page, however, will be a review from previous lessons. So you're going to always have an opportunity to practice information you've learned in previous lessons. So that will be the spiraling review throughout the year. Also today, I see I have an extended activity if I would like to do a little bit more with this lesson. Each lesson is going to follow the similar pattern. I will always have the two pages in the work text followed by the two pages in the review book and the answers will be in this teacher edition book for me each day. Jumping ahead just a smidge, I'm going to go to this lesson which is at the end of the chapter. So the end of the chapter is going to be a little bit different. I don't have a lesson to teach new information because this is a chapter review. So instead, my lesson is going to review all of the topics we have learned about in this chapter so that they will be ready for our chapter test, which in this case is not actually the next day, but would be in a couple days. Most of the time, your test will be the day after your chapter review. You'll also have those same chapter review pages in your review book as well. This chapter though has a STEM project. So before you take your chapter test, you'll actually stop and do a STEM project. And the STEM project will work through some sort of problem and you'll be designing something or working through something. This particular one, you're actually looking for missing treasure and you'll be reading an excerpt from a book called Mice of Herringbone. And this is actually a Journey Forth book that you could purchase if you really enjoyed the excerpt. But you'll read through this story and then you'll be solving the problems to help find the treasure. And then this would actually be a two day lesson because it's lessons 38 and 39, so you could split it across two days if you wanted to, and you would be following all the steps to be able to complete this STEM activity. Now the next day would actually be your cumulative review and your chapter four test. So you would take your chapter four test, and then you would do your cumulative review pages, and then you would be done for the day and you would have finished this chapter four. Let's jump now to the back. 
At the back of the book, you will have these problem solving challenge pages. These are actually going to be assigned on the cumulative review days at the very end where it says problem solving challenge. And this one says to go to work text pages 363 through 364. So this will also be in the back of the student textbook. So these will just be additional problem solving pages that are a little bit more challenging than the normal lesson. And again, those are in the work text. Also at the back of your teacher edition book, you have a list of your instructional aids. So these would be the instructional aids you would need to be able to teach your lessons. There also should be a file in your course resources on the Homeschool Hub where you can print out additional copies of these instructional aids. And these would just help present information as you're teaching the lessons each day. Also at the end of your teacher edition book, you'll have your index. And this will list all the main topics and you'll be able to go back if you need to to review something. So this is your teacher edition part one for math two. Part two will look very similar. It will just be the second half of the year. This is the Math 2 student work text. So this is the book your child will be going to to do their work each day. Each chapter will begin with that full page of art to introduce the new topic. It will also have the essential question for the chapter. And then your child will have the front and the back as a work text page each day. Often the front page will be guided practice while the back page will be independent practice. But there will also be days that you will do both the front and the back as independent practice. Here's the chapter review to go with this chapter. And then here is that STEM activity to find the missing treasure. And then the cumulative review page that you will do after your test. Let's flip through and see some of the other pages to see what we're going to learn about this year. So here is addition with two digit numbers. Here's some measuring, subtracting with two digit numbers, determining more and less money, adding with three digit numbers, Repeated addition to help introduce us to multiplication. Subtracting three digit numbers. More multiplication. Some geometry. Measuring. An introduction to division where you're making equal sets. And then we have our problem solving challenge. Remember, these were the pages that were introduced to us on the cumulative review pages. These pages will generally be more challenging than our normal assignments. So if your child needs an extra extended activity to become a little bit more challenged, these are great activities to make them think a little differently. So that is our student work text. This is the Math 2 review book. So this book will be the second worksheet that you can do within a day. The front side will be similar to what you did that day in the lesson, with the back side being review from previous lessons. 
the review will help with all the spiraling to keep things fresh in your child's mind as you're trying different topics, like calendars for instance, you're still getting practice with adding and subtracting and money. So that when you get back to those adding and subtracting chapters, it's not super hard to remember what you did because you have been practicing. So this is the review book. This is the manipulative packet for Math 2. In here you will find all the manipulatives you need for this course. There is a preparation guide on the front cover, so before you begin tearing things out, I would recommend that you read through that preparation guide just to see what's included. And these are cardstock, and they do tear out pretty easily. I would highly recommend punching these out before you are ready to begin teaching this course. The back does include some triangle flash cards and it's got your fact families on the back. So that would be your Math 2 manipulative packet. And the last thing we have in the textbook kit is the assessments packet and the answer key to go with that assessments packet. The assessments for Math 2 consist of one chapter test per chapter. You would be able to have your child write directly on the paper, just tear the paper out, hand them the test. After they're done taking the test, you would grade it with the assessment packet answer key. Thanks for joining me as we looked inside of the fifth edition of the Math 2 books. If you have any questions about the materials, please feel free to reach out to your local Homeworks by Precept consultant. We're all happy to help you. Have a great day.